Hello everyone, welcome to the session on Microsoft Excel. This video helps you in understanding the basic of Microsoft Excel uh, workbook. So here, as soon as you open a workbook in Microsoft Excel, we will see by default a sheet by name, sheet 1 appears in the Excel workbook. You could see at the bottom where the cursor is over it. Uh, so if I right click on this particular sheet named as sheet 1, I will get various options where I can move, make changes to the sheet. First and foremost, let us, le let us learn how do you rename a sheet. To rename a sheet, right click on the sheet and then choose the option rename. It gets the sheet name highlighted. So you can give, you can change the name of the sheet now as let me name it as first sheet. Now I have named my sheet as first sheet here for the workbook. Now I, if I need to add more number of sheets to the same workbook, I can click on this small icon available here. So this is the icon for new sheet. Click on the icon, it adds a sheet. Now by default, the name of the sheet is sheet 2. Let us rename it by name as second sheet. Let me create one more sheet and rename it as third sheet. Now I have few options with sheet. Right, click on the sh first sheet, right click and I have an option to insert either a worksheet or a chart or an MS, MS Excel file or a macro into the sheet etc. We will learn about this in detail later. Now I have inserted a sheet here. Okay, Since I have chosen by default a worksheet is selected. Hence when I click on OK a sheet is getting inserted. So I have sheet 5, sheet 4. Now let us see what is the difference between inserting a sheet and clicking on this to create a new sheet. When I click on this to create a new sheet, wherever your, whichever sheet is opened, a sheet get inserted soon after the sheet that is selected. So if I have selected second sheet, when I click on this, second sheet is selected and I say new sheet, a sheet 7 get inserted soon after the second sheet. And if my uh, selection is second sheet and I say insert and I'm choosing worksheet which is by default and I say OK, the sheet 8 is getting inserted before the sheet that is being selected. So if second sheet was selected, sheet 8 get inserted before the second sheet. But when I say, when I click on this option available here to insert a new sheet or create a new sheet, it gets inserted after the sheet that is being selected. So this is the major difference between uh, choosing this option to insert a sheet and using right click and insert a sheet. Now I have numerous sheet that is created here and I don't want all of these sheets. I want only the sheet that is renamed as first sheet, second sheet and third sheet to be available in my workbook. In order to do that, I mean in order to delete the sheet that is not necessary, click on the sheet, right click and then click on the option delete. The sheets get deleted. Similarly, let me delete sheet 6 and I will also delete sheet 8. I can also delete sheet 7. Now if you click on first sheet and say right click, you have one more option here called move or copy. This particular option allows you to either move the sheet in a particular order or copy it into a new workbook. So let us try this. I will click on move or copy. I need to select where to move. So here in from the drop down list let me select I need to move it to the same book. Book 2 that is the name of my file because I have not renamed it and let me say I need to move it to end. So I choose this option move to end and then I say OK. Now you will see the first sheet which was at the in the order at the beginning is moved to end of the sheet. Similarly, if I want to move the second sheet 
to a new workbook let me say move or copy and i say to a new book notice here there is an option for a check box to create a copy so let me create a copy of it and then move to new book and i say okay a new workbook is created with second a copy of second sheet as of now let me close it because i don't want this book okay and and you can also notice that the second sheet remains in the book from where we were moving it the reason is we have made a copy of it or we have cloned it when we are changing or pasting it in another sheet or moving or copying it to another sheet similarly in case you when you are moving it to another sheet you don't want a copy of this in the target sheet i mean you don't want a copy of it in the source sheet so i click on move, move or copy and then i say uh, move to new book and i don't want to create a copy i'll just say okay so what happens there is a new book that is created with a second sheet available here let me close this because uh, for me it is no longer required and look into the source sheet there was a sheet named second sheet since i moved it moved it to another new workbook but i have not created a copy of it since i have not created a copy of it it is removed from the workbook from where i move the sheet okay so it is up to you to make a copy of it or not if it is not necessary to make a copy of it you can ignore this option called create copy when you are moving the sheet so these are some of the operations that are related with the sheets uh, in a workbook you are allowed to create as many number of sheets as required for your workbook one thing to be noted here when you are creating sheet there is an automatic name that is assigned to the sheet in an ascending order you are allowed to make changes to the name of the sheet as and when required yeah that's all for this session wherein we uh, learned about the sheet in a workbook and how to insert more number of sheets how to delete a sheet uh, how can we rename a sheet as well as how can we move a sheet from one workbook to another